Want to do your KuCoin taxes fast? Simply import your transactions securely into Coinly and let Coinly calculate your staking, derivatives, capital gains and losses, etc. accurately and easily. Before we jump in, the information in this video is for educational purposes only and is not tax, financial, or legal advice. Also, the examples I mentioned might not exactly match your situation. So as always, speak to a qualified professional if you're looking for tax advice. Hello, my name is Nelly, and in today's updated video, I'm going to show you how to do your KuCoin taxes. KuCoin is a top 10 platform by trading volume known for its depth of features. Everything from spot trading, derivatives, earn programs, and so on. But if you're making sweet gains with KuCoin, you gotta pay taxes. So Coinly is your crypto tax calculator that can help you do your KuCoin taxes fast. Now, in order for Coinly to calculate your KuCoin tax liability, you simply need to import all your transactions into Coinly, which is super easy. Okay, to do this, you need to sign up or sign in into Coinly. If you don't have a Coinly account, don't panic. It's completely free to sign up and follow along until the very end. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna do is go into our wallets area and we're gonna click on add wallet. From here, we're gonna type in KuCoin and there it is. So we have two different options, an API route and a CSV file route. I will first show you the API route and then I'll explain how to get your CSVs. So clicking on set up auto sync, we'll see a few different um, things here we have to take note of. So the first one is the KuCoin API limits the amount of data that can be fetched. Most transaction types can only be fetched for the last year. If your account is older than one year, then we recommend using CSV files to import your historical data before setting up the API. And then I will obviously go back to the CSV part of the video. So um, let me continue from here. Uh, lending interest can only be fetched if trade permission is given. So keep that in mind if you are working with lending. And then lastly, bought transactions are not provided by the API. So those are some reasons you might wanna go down the CSV route. If you're still around for this part, let me show you how to get your API key, API secret, and passphrase. Okay, so we're gonna go into our KuCoin account and in the top right corner, we're gonna hover over our profile icon and then we're gonna scroll on down to API management. From here, we're gonna click on create API. Then we're gonna give it a name like Coinly. We're gonna select a seven to 32 um, uh, character passphrase. So I'll put in 9999. Five, five, five. Okay, so seven numbers that works. I'll have it here shown as well, just in case. And then here we're gonna go down to the API restrictions and make sure spot trading, margin trading, future trading, transfer, and all flex transfers are not selected. So as it is right now, it's fantastic. As you can see, the only one we care about is the one that's already selected, which is the general. And it specifically says here, limited to read only operations, such as querying account information, account statements, and order information. The API can't be used to perform operations such as order placement or withdrawals. We've said this a thousand times, Coinly is not interested in moving your funds or touching your funds. We just want to get the information to be able to help you with your taxes. And then at the very bottom, we're gonna make sure IP restriction no is selected, and then we're gonna click on next. Um, make sure to go through the verification here. It's going to ask for a few different things, trading password, email uh, verification code, and Google 2FA code. And one other small note here is at the very bottom, KuCoin futures are now supported through the KuCoin API. If you remember, this wasn't the case before, but now um, that is good to go. And then the last thing is about sub accounts. So this is gonna be a very small portion of you that have sub accounts. If you use sub accounts with KuCoin, you will need to import this data as well. If you're using API, create separate API keys for each sub account, add them to separate KuCoin wallets in Coinly. And lastly, please check your transfers before the main account and your sub accounts as this may be added manually. And then there's a link here to an article on how to do this manually. So once you've filled out that information, you're gonna get an API key, um, copy and paste it into Coinly. Same thing with the secret and the phrase that you have selected and then click secure import. Okay, so that's one route you can take. The other one is the CSV route. So once again, we're gonna click on KuCoin and we're gonna click import from file. And then one small note here is please note that the zip files from KuCoin will contain many different files. You should import all of these files to Coinly, but Coinly will automatically reject any unnecessary files. Okay, so now I will show you where to get those files in KuCoin. So in the top right corner, we have an option that says orders. 
we're gonna uh, hover over it and then a new menu will pop up and we're gonna click on spot trade history. Okay, so in the top right corner, once we've clicked export, we click on market and here we click on every single one of these. So make sure everything here is selected. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten 10 different options. Make sure they are all selected. Then we're gonna scroll on down and we're gonna go to time. We're gonna make sure past year is selected. Keep in mind that is it's excluding today's date. And obviously keep in mind, each report has a maximum date range of one year. So you may need to download multiple reports to ensure that you've covered your entire transaction history. Lastly, make sure the current time zone is UTC zero Europe slash Greenwich. Make sure uh, it includes sub accounts and make sure dot CSV is selected. Then you will click confirm and wait a few minutes potentially to download all of these files. Okay, so then you will simply take these files and drag and drop them here into Coinly and click import. As we said before, import all the files that were uh, that are generated. Coinly will automatically reject any file that is not needed. And then lastly, the same note as before about sub accounts. If you use sub accounts with uh, KuCoin, you will need to import this data as well. If you're using CSVs, import sub account CSVs into this uh, KuCoin wallet. And once that data is imported, whether you've used the API or the CSV or a combination of the two, you can head over into the transactions area and just make sure everything is sitting correctly with you. Make sure all your staking uh, transactions are tagged correctly and make sure everything is okay. Okay, if you've traded on other exchanges and wallets, which you probably have, you're gonna wanna repeat this simple process and connect them all. Luckily, Coinly integrates with over 850 platforms. And if you ever need a hand, we upload new integration videos weekly. So now with all your transactions imported into Coinly, we are able to view all your crypto transactions to accurately calculate your capital gains, losses, and income from crypto. This also includes DeFi's, airdrops, staking, etc. If you have done any staking or liquidity providing, then you may need to tag those transactions manually. And like I mentioned earlier, I will leave a link to our staking and liquidity videos down below and in the top right corner of this video. Okay, now you can head over to the Coinly Reports page and you can see how your year stacks up with a free summary showing your crypto totals for the year. The summary is awesome, but to officially file your taxes, you're gonna need a lot more detail. So now for the best part. Coinly produces a stack of cryptocurrency tax reports that cover your year's activity in great detail. This includes calculations and totals that line up with how the tax man wants it. We support over 1 million investors around the world with reports like the IRS Schedule D and Form 8949, plus a report for TurboTax, Tax Act, the UK, Australia, Canada, France, and a complete tax report for just about everyone else. Simply buy a plan from Coinly and download your report. You can file your taxes yourself, or if you work with an accountant, you can share it. Or you can even invite them to your account to Coinly. Lastly, check your country's rules and regulations because this report might be deductible. I will leave a bunch of resources down below if you need further assistance with our product. If you found this video helpful, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or on our forum section where our users and Coinly support team are ready to jump in.